Hi and welcome to this week's project. Um, this week I'm going to be doing a bit of resin art and what it is I'm actually doing is doing a test out for doing my splashback for the kitchen. There's quite a lot of wall space in the kitchen that I'm going to need splashback for and um, I really need to find out what colours. The colours of the kitchen is basically brown flooring and worktop and the rest is white including all the units. So um, it's a bit of juggling. I'm wanting to add some real colour into this room. So um, I've got a combination. This is just probably the first stage. There may well be other videos about this. The f so the first stage of really what I'm going to be doing is I'm wanting a mix of greens. Um, so I'm going to be doing a white base on all the boards. I'm going to be using Divine Pigments for that because it's a really block, non-see-through white really. With resin art it, it might be a little bit different so I'll have to watch just to see if I can see through into the back board and then that will depend on how I coat these boards before I actually do the, the finishing. So uh, for that respect there could be some adjustments there but I'll use the Divine Pigments for that. I'm on the first board I'm going to be doing a mix of three colours uh, lime green, emerald green and teal um, just to give a variation so it'll be a white board and adding this and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to add it that's something else that might change over time on this board here I'm going to be doing a white coat at the bottom and then purple, red, blue and green into it and I'll see how that looks. That might well be just too much colour but it's uh, it's just something I want to try. I have a third board like this and I'm actually going to just coat it white, leave it overnight to cure and then there will be an added bit onto this video of me adding colour to that which will possibly give these boards some texture at that point because I won't be doing a finishing layer I'll do the white and then these colours will have some texture because they'll stand out above it. The way I'm going to approach this on this test is um, the white I'm going to be leaving to cure heat up temperature so that it thickens up a little bit because I want it to be quite solid on there so that when it receives the colour that it's quite firm and holds the colour in one place. I'm not wanting the colours to spread um, because I want really white backgrounds with this colour just added to it. So that's how I'm going to approach approach it. It'd be the same with the colours, they'll all be left to heat up and um, that'll give them a bit of firmness as well. Right, so I hope you enjoy. So basically the video is coming right now.
Okay, just thought I'd come along at the end uh, just to talk about the three tests that I did. Um, for the kitchen here, this is going to be one of the walls that it's going to be going on. It's going to be going on across this wall here and across this wall here. Um, I did the three tests. None of them are actually what I want and none of them are, the colours are, are re quite irrelevant at this point because I don't think I've quite chosen the colours I want. This is the closest to what I'm looking for. Um, but I've got another test that's going to come up so there will be a quick video going out about that because um, it's, it's a different technique altogether. So uh, yeah, this is a testing out anyway, but I've got a good idea of, of seeing what could be done in the resin and it's just too blotchy this one i mean me throwing paint anyway was always going to be a bit dodgy but uh but yeah something similar to that i'm wanting but not quite that and I, the purple's definitely going to be in but the other colors are not so just a quick comeback i'll leave a couple of pictures up at the end and uh, thanks very much for watching